In this video, I will talk about web scale discovery services. Few years ago, we used to have catalogs in our libraries. At that time, libraries held a couple of hundreds or few thousands of books and journals to serve the local community. So this was the purpose of the library. Some small libraries still have uh, those catalogs, but most of the major libraries and libraries of major universities now use these web scale discovery services to provide content to their students. Now, what are these uh, web scale discovery services? These are applications which provide content handling tools to libraries. On one hand, there are publishers like IEEE, Science Direct, etc. who have journals where researchers publish their work and there are a lot of publishers out there and an enormous amount of articles are present in their databases. So these web scale discovery services connect publisher to the library and hence students can reach the research articles from any of the publisher from the university library or the government library, whatever they are using. And libraries pay huge amount of money to these services. Therefore, they want students to use these services and find articles and do some high impact research. So basically, it is a cooperative cataloging. Instead of the physical catalog, now we have a cooperative cataloging. Uh, various web-based services uh, connect with each other and provide the user access to digital contents. They share the cloud, uh, the contents and the infrastructure. So in this way, they reduce the cost and they increase the access. So now one student from any country can access the article all around the globe. And the cost of the university is reduced as compared to having all those articles and journals in the university, but still it's a very big cost. So in this video, I am going to introduce you only a few of those services which are more renowned or you can say that large services. So the first one is World Catalog. So if you type worldcat.org, so World Catalog is one of the larger services out there. And you as a student don't have to worry too much about these services. This, uh, the purpose of this video was just to introduce to you that uh, what are web scale discovery services. Now the second uh, service I would like to show you is uh, EBSCO. So this is also a major web scale discovery service. And if you are interested, you can learn more about this uh, by going on their website and see how these services work. So these type of services serve both the public libraries uh, or the government libraries or, and also the uh, university libraries or the academic libraries. Another important service is uh, called Summon uh, that is uh, from ProQuest which is a large database. So this is their product. ProQuest is a very large database. Uh, they uh, have a lot of articles and, and you might have seen this uh, in your library. So Summon is uh, owned by ProQuest. So this is another important web scale discovery service. Now when you use these services on your uh, academic or public libraries, you get certain tools which you can use as an author or as a researcher. The most important thing is of course that you can get an article from anywhere, from any publisher, but also you can download the citations in many different formats and you can search within the articles available throughout the globe. But at the end, I would like to mention a very important thing about all these services, that these services, although they act as a search engine somehow, but they are not as sophisticated as Google, Bing or Amazon. So they try to rank the articles in the same manner as Google would rank, but they are not so powerful. So therefore, the important thing for you as a researcher is that you must understand how to use the advanced search operators, which I have already discussed in many other videos, that advanced search operators are the best way to find the most relevant articles and thesis. And this is what you should learn, how to use the advanced search operators. You can use these advanced search operators in Google or you can use these advanced search operators in any of these services. 
So this was a brief introduction to web scale discovery services.